Cody, go back. Good! Good dog! That was a good dog! Billy, good, this is sweet as wine. Go back. Good. Go back. Go back. Good dog! Cody, go back. Good dog. Good. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, good. Good. Dead. Good dog. Good dog. A little fun. Good. Back. <clears throat> Same spot. Uh, we've had two nice days in a row in this kind of food plot, field, small field um, that we have with beans and clover. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start it out similar to what we did yesterday. I'm gonna throw some twists into it. I thought about it, um, how it went yesterday, and I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit. Um, but I, I do think we're to that point where um, it's a new location, so I gotta stay somewhat repetitive. Um, we're still learning. Um, and so she is still learning some of the skill stuff or at least confirming some of that skill stuff but i i think we're right on the right on the tip or right on the edge of um taking some of that skill that she we've practiced real formally um if you're a basketball player it'd be like dribbling around chairs like it's not basketball it's a skill dribbling ball handling we're working on our stuff but we're doing it in a controlled area that's really forcing us to learn a skill well that's what these these real simple setups have been um, that's what some of the stuff we've been doing left and right adding some options for her to choose before we did that you know we, we made it real simple so it's a progressional thing and now i think we're almost to the point where we're going to start to apply um, more in setups that that both test the behavior both test her understanding but also are getting a little bit closer to um, that transition to actually what we're going to eventually do hunting wise so <clears throat> i do think we're kind of at that phase and i think it's important to point it out because that's how all of our training goes like we we start a skill simple um, focused deliberate and then we just slowly add little bit of layers on top of it on top of it on top of it and then eventually we apply it um, and then that's where our train our training transitions to that so we're getting close to that um, now we're in another location so really i guess this is the third or fourth location that we've done done these some of these drills um, but we, we, if you recall, we did a big horse pasture. We did our front yard. We've done our area on the other side of the house that we've got mowed, and we really used two spots over there, um, and now we're over here. So we're replicating things in different environments and making sure that it's consistent. I'm gonna continue that today um, because it is a relatively new spot for her, but I'd like to start adding a few things. Um, my confidence is up a little bit, so I'm gonna add a few things um, that will allow me to kind of step into the next thing that I want to do um, and so we are going to continue to use this spot right here so I've, I've put a few more dummies in my bag I think sometimes people ask how many dummies do you need I don't know that you can ever have enough um, I think we're up to one two three four five six seven eight and a dummy launcher um, for today I'll need them all and the reason I, I do you need them all maybe not do I want them all yes because a it's more efficient for me to leave a spot um, salted with a couple dummies that I can send the dog back to rather than resetting every time I also think you get value in sending dogs back to the same spot without them seeing it be set up uh, repetitiously um, so there are a few reasons for that um, the other reason is uh, that I, I like the idea of this is it saves me a lot of steps um, so I'm gonna pitch a few in here now we are gonna go with um, feathered ones so she'll have to hunt she has had a tendency of coming in here um, and liking to hunt into that woods I don't mind that she's never picked one up in there yet so today she's gonna get one back in there um, so there's three of them we're just leaving that in her mind um, we're gonna leave these alone again we're gonna send back to them um, later on during the session the one goal that I have today is I'm gonna pull her away from 
these straight edges. I'm gonna pull her away from the fence, the tree line. I'm gonna pull her away from that tree line. I'm gonna have her work a little bit more in an open field. Um, I mowed this clover yesterday, so and I mowed the clover on the other side of the beans, so I am going to um, pull her out a little bit more into the middle of the field. I also mowed our other area, and my plan is to go over there and, and do some things here later this week with her. But I wanna have her start handling without the help of the straight edge um, and so 90 degrees and we'll see how she does with that um, so we, we'll probably do some, something similar to what we did um, yesterday with some options of left right back um, we may recall her we may so we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll just get into it I don't have an exact thing I want to do um, but I got a feel of the direction I want to go and based on how she goes we'll kind of we'll kind of change it up um, accordingly I also want to use that little bit of that that little berm there uh, that's a little thing that we dug out um, and we're going to flood that we're gonna plant that with millet all that low spot we're gonna pump out of this pond and we're gonna fill that this fall so um, I'm gonna use that little area it's dry right now there's water in the ditches probably of it but um, I'm gonna use that berm as a barrier send her over uh, into some tall cover I might shoot a dummy launcher into that cover but we'll, we'll use that as a as a part of this too we didn't do that yesterday all right so we're gonna leave these three alone let's just head this way Ben will grab that camera we'll bring it over there and we'll start working on that stuff out in the open field yeah. same time every morning these these two come through so uh, I mean it's within it's within five ten minutes heel heel so Ben's got that camera up um, our sand hills just flew through so now we can officially start what I'm going to do is the other reason I like moving this to the center of the field is it's giving me a little more options back um, it, it's we're creating this big cross and so um, I've got room now to go back where in the past with her back up against tree lines you can fire stuff up into the tree lines um, and we do that we, but that's a different drill and so I don't want to complicate I don't want to add drills to drills that are not necessarily um, clearly understood let's let's keep it simple and then add layers so now we're doing that so now we can build in some backs I could build backs into the cover or I could build backs into the field um, when I say backs I mean sending around back cast so Ben's got that camera up. I'm gonna incorporate, I decided I'm gonna incorporate the berm right off the bat here. So we are gonna pitch one out in front of this, this camera, which is in clover. Then we've got a strip of beans, and then we've got clover, and then we've got the berm. So I'm gonna heal her with me. She saw that one. I don't know how much she was paying attention to it or not, but I'm sure she saw it. I didn't do a real good job of dialing her focus into it. Maybe I should have. Heel, heel. So we get out of that those beans and we come into this clover. Now, this clover's got a little moat here, a little, a little ditch that's kind of filled up with water. We had a lot of rain last night. So I'm actually gonna go with a feathered dummy because she's not gonna see it. We're gonna go up and over. There's a, a, a wall of tall grass and then it's mowed and then there's more tall grass on the other side. No nope, heel. I'm gonna bring her this way. And the first thing I'm gonna do is establish that retrieve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring her across heel. Get a little loose on her heel. I'm gonna bring her across these beans. at my pace. You notice how she's been drifting, so I'm gonna go at my pace. So I'm gonna slow down. I can see my boot tracks, so I know I'm in the same line. I think it's important to walk straight lines with these guys. So I'm getting to this clover, now there's a dummy right there. Sit. So we're gonna send her away from that close dummy. And she's gonna have to go up, across that little ditch, which there's water in. Charlie can jump it though. Cross that ditch into the cover, find that dummy, come back. Good. And there's one right there, and you see how I'm real deliberate with my hand. And there's one over there, there's one over there, and there's nothing back there. And I'm doing that so that she doesn't get jumpy. So she sees some movement without, 
she's thinking, you can tell. Her head swings with my hand, that's good. But she's not had a whistle, nothing to start this. She's just on a remote sit. I don't care if she's standing, good. Get out. Whoop, and over. Nice. She's gonna have to hunt a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Real crisp, nice cast. Good hold. Did. 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 And that's a good way for me to. Hey, 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 hey. So I'm gonna. Normally in the past, I haven't gotten on her much for that. And I love her excitement and I love her enthusiasm, but I also have to balance that with um, being polite. And that wasn't real polite. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reset this heel. And again, um, she has come to the point where we're getting to the point heel, that we, uh, I've been able to give her a little bit of a correction, a little more, a little fur, a little tone. It doesn't take a lot, you saw it just now. But a little bit of tone without her necessarily giving up. I think the difference is, is now she knows her stuff. When I correct her for something now, she understands what she's being corrected for. Before when I got on her a couple times, this is a long time ago, episodes wise, I'd get on her and she'd kind of shut down. I think it was partially because she didn't know what she was doing. And I'm getting on her and she doesn't know why. And so that hurt her feelings. And so she is a little bit sensitive and she would start to shut down. When she knows what she's supposed to do, when she knows the behavior that's expected and we correct her, uh, she doesn't quit on me, she doesn't shut down. She does back down a little bit and, and I get the change in behavior. That's real important. So I do have to, I have to, I've talked about how I have to kind of figure this dog out. That's what I'm figuring out is, when she knows she's done wrong, I can correct her. Um, that's real good for me because there's a chance for that to be a, a learning experience. It's when she doesn't know that you have to recognize, she doesn't know, she didn't do it on purpose, she didn't know any better, that's when you have to realize as much as you want to, you maybe, maybe you're better off not putting a lot of pressure on a dog like this. So I'm gonna come out, reset this. I'm gonna go into the cover a little bit with it this time. A little bit further that's into some tall, tall stuff. Heel. Now, that one has become a memory that with a little delay. And I'm gonna send her back to it. She knows that one's right there. She looks that way when I point that way. I don't know if she remembers that one or not. She looks that way. There's nothing back there. There's nothing back there. So I'm just doing that as a test to her. I'm gonna be real clear that we're going towards Ven. Get out. Her angle's off. No, here, here, good. She looked that way and she knew it. My fear was that she's going to these dummies here. So I corrected that. Brought her back, now watch this time. I think she realized, here, 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 sit. I think she realized pretty quickly she took the wrong angle. She got about there, she looked there. <clears throat> My fear was that she's going back and I don't want her rewarded. I don't want her getting something when she takes the wrong angle. Get out. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Very good. Good dog, hold. Did. She learned from that. Good. Very good. Now, I'm gonna bring her back with me here. Heel. Ah, ah, ah. Heel. 
She's real loose on her heel today. Heel. And she's gonna have to clean that up. I'm not above, I don't have one with me, but I'd put her on a lead if I had to. Just to make sure that the heel work is crisp. Heel. Now I'm gonna come into here. I'm gonna throw into the cover a little bit. No heel. Bring her back. Now I know I keep that camera, there's my starting point right here. So it's nice to kind of have visual markers too. Um, I'm gonna take a dummy, bolt back to where it was, sit, good. Now I've got one there, I've got one back, and I've got one over here. I'm gonna send it for the one over here. See her peek back, she's looking back. Now the question will be, is the left cast stronger than her back? That's the last one we set up. Well, it's the second to last one. We set that one up last, we set that one up second to last. This is the oldest. That's where I'm gonna send her to. Good. Get out. Her angle's off a little bit. I'm gonna let her work it out. Good, good, good dog, good dog, <clears throat> good, dead. Now, <clears throat> her angle was off quite a bit. She moved, we're not that far from her. So I'm gonna reset that again. I let her work it out because there was very little risk of her She's not gonna find another one over here. She's gonna have to find the spot. So I want her to almost correct her little navigation on her own. Again, a little deeper in. Maybe even, that one might even be back behind her a little bit, distance wise, which should, her tendency, if she's gonna hunt, if she's gonna take the wrong angle, it's gonna be towards me. She's proven that time and time again. So. So you know, we never have her go back. I want her square. We never have her fade away. She always hunts closer. So I'm gonna back up a bit. The dummy is back from where it was last time slightly. I'm gonna send her right back in there. And, and my hope with this is that she recognizes, don't waste my time coming closer to him as I move left turn and go straight. And if she goes, turns and goes straight, she still is gonna have to go back. So it's gonna go against her tendencies to come forward. Again, there's a dummy over there, there's a dummy back. We're not, we're gonna leave those alone. And we got two over here yet. Really, really pushing her memory.
Get out. A lot better. Good. Now she's got to push into the cover a bit. Good. Good. There the nose works. Very good. Good dog. Good dog. Good. Did. Did. Good. Good. That one was real good. Uh, her line was much better. She hunted a little short, she checked back up, she pushed back in and you could see 100% her nose just sucked her to it. So that's real good. Now, let's change this up. Heel. Heel. Just to keep her honest. A nice little straight line. Going. Good. Got to push in a little bit. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Hold. Did. 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 Good. Good girl. Now there's a second heel. one. Now I got to remember I've got two over there, I've got two over here, I've got one right there, I've got one right there. And she's cheated that way. So without without squaring her up, I'm going to go against her cheat and send her to that side. Get out. Good, good. She overran it, that's okay. As long as she doesn't go to that one. Good. Get out. Good dog, good dog, hold, hold, dead, good. Now, that's not how that drill was designed, but I wanted to see, take advantage of a chance. She was far enough out, now it was a free for all and my fear again was she's gonna go pick that one up. I didn't wanna reset it at that point. So I th said, in my mind I said, let's, Let's get her back in the area. Let's have her hunt. That's applying it. It's not how I would want that drill to go. I don't want to have to handle her to a memory. Um, you know, that memory went long enough that, what, did she remember it? Clearly not. Uh, should she have remembered it? I wish. Uh, should she have hunted to that spot? Probably. She already picked up two there. Um, wh why didn't she? Because she pushed into cover. And quite honestly, that's okay too, because a lot of times dogs won't do that. They want to stop short um, and, and hunt the easy stuff. So her tendency was going to cover, going to cover, going to cover. So I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. What I'm very happy about is a crisp handle to the left, 
a stop to the whistle, a hunting area. So that's that application part. That's putting the pieces together. Now I've still got one here. I've got two here and I've got two here. So what I'm going to do is break away from handling a little bit. I, I, I'm happy with her handling. Um, can we clean it up? Yes. Do we clean it up with these drills? No. Um, so we'll clean it up before we go, before we're done. But now I've got two there and I've got two there. And this is a harder one to cut across the beans. It's a harder angle. This would be a pretty easy one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is heel. send her to that original spot. Heel. The line is gonna be real important. Nose to the tail. And I just saw it at her last minute, her head just kind of drifted. And I, I don't want her taking a line to this heel. So now what I can do is, I wasn't thinking. No, leave that here. Let's call her off of those. Going. Here, 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 here. Too sharp of an angle. I probably sent her too quick. I thought she had the line. She didn't. Heel, heel. Come on. So reset that. Cody. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here, here. Hold. Did. Did. Good. Good. Let's back up just a little bit then. Send that again. Here, here. Do it again, but this time just adding a little bit of this extra layer that she's going to go through. Good. mistake her last second check to there she's thinking that one she's back and forth and that's what she did so I have to get better at that heel here nope heel come on Cody. good no! Here! She started perfect and faded right away. That's part of that, those lines here. That's part of those lines and that beans that just sucked her to it. This is a pretty tight angle. Go, Go back. Good. Go back. Go back. Good. Good girl. Very good. Now we let her hunt. She's gonna get that far one. Good. She just ran over and I remember there's three over there. Good. Good girl. Very good. Hold. Dead. Dead. Good. Good dog. I just remember there are three over there. And if you just, you notice how she, ah, and I, as I'm reminding her to go back, go back, she pu that pushed her through. So that was really good on her. She really wanted to go there. Um, I want to go right back for the third. I want to do that again. Nope. Heel. Heel. Go back. Go back. No! Here. Here. I'll take a step towards it. Go to go back. Good. Good. And I started her a little left there. Good dog. Just knowing that she's gonna be sucked to the right, I started her slightly left and almost curved her in there.
She's got to hunt that area. She, she likes to go behind the mountain. That's fine. She just picked one up there. This is where we're just putting them in an area. Let the nose work. Good. Good. Good dog. So she again, she ran, overran it, ran it into the cover. Let her work it out. Good dog. Good dog. Good. Good. Dead. Dead. Good. Okay, now we got two there. And we got one here. So I'm gonna finish, let's go across Ben. We'll go in front of that camera. Heel. We're just gonna change the angle. So she did what I wanted her to do there eventually with a couple of a couple resets where we had to recall her, reset it. <clears throat> Heel. Probably my fault as much as anything on sending her. A couple times I sent her too early. A couple times I sent her probably with the, not quite the right line. I liked sending her that last one. I pulled her left a little bit and kind of split the difference between this area and that area. And she came in and pulled right in. I don't mind helping her out. Okay, so now I know that camera is in line with that one. And I know I've got two over here. So I'm gonna start there, here. So we just changed the angle. And she's never picked one up over here. So this is another challenge when it comes to, this is applying our lining stuff that we've been working on. Cause she's never picked one up over here. So this line is completely new and those dummies have been left for <clears throat> a little while. I mean, there's some delay there. That one, she's picked up in that area already. So there's two over here. So I'm gonna always go get that one first, get one of those first so that I have an option. And then the second one and then the third or the second one and then the third. It's just whenever I have multiples, I always go to the double first uh, because it leaves me in a, another option. If I pick the single, I don't have anywhere else to go. Um, later on down the road, I might line a dog to a dummy, stop her, handle her over to another dummy. And if you pick the one that's, if you pick the single, you don't have anything to send to and have an option. Cause if she, if she starts to go to that one, to the other one, I might stop her and send her back and kind of balance what she wants to do. So I'm gonna to go to that one. go back totally totally blank stare what what do you want me to do she's not picked this so heel heel come on we got to get her loose go go back go back go back here perfect example of the cover change good I can't get on her too hard here we've never we've never run this here before so I'm gonna bring her out here Instead of going across two sets of cover, I'll do one heel. So heel her into the cover. Go, go back, go back, go back. Good, good. Bring her back across. Good, hold, hold, good. And now I got a line. Good, dead. I got a line from one cover to the next. Now watch the second one. I'm gonna go right back to it because I do want this to be fresh. Heel, heel. Cody, go back, go back, go back, go back. Good, good. Lost, lost, good dog, good girl, good girl, hold, good, good girl, dead, 
did. Today's been a lot more of a mix up of mixing in handling, not just straight handling. Here, here. Long memory here. Just finish this out. Good. I'm not even gonna throw a diversion. At some point I'd throw a diversion, not yet. Good. This I don't think she'll remember, <clears throat> but I do think she'll remember this pattern already of running it, because she's run this once before. Ah, ah, ah. She's a little, she's a little winded right now. And all of a sudden her, her focus goes away. Get out. Good. Good. This one is a little shorter than what she's used to picking. Good. Good dog. Good dog. Very good. Great way to end that. Good dog. Hold. 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 A little loose on her delivery. Ben, come over here. I want to show you this. So when she came over, this is a sign of what happens when they get a little tired. That's part of why she just wasn't, look at her mouth right now. Look at her front end. She literally nosedived into that moat. Dead. 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 She's become a little bit solid with her hold after that goose, and that's fine. But what you're going to notice is when she came over, so I told you, I said she kind of looks a little winded. And all of a sudden, her focus started to drift a little bit. And she's gassed. She's, she's breathing pretty hard. Uh, it's starting to warm up. Sit. It's part of conditioning. It's part of why conditioning is so important. She's not in the best shape right now. She's in a lot better shape than she was, um, but it's not, it's not the best. It's getting there though. But as she gets tired, her focus goes away. Well, she took the line beautifully. She went over fine, but when she came back over, if you watch the first couple times, she flew over that mound and there's a moat there uh, that I dug out um, to berm it up. It's full of water right now. And so as she came over, she's tired. And as she came over, she was short and she nosedived into the ditch. And she had a mouthful of dirt and a chest full of mud, and, but she held onto that dummy. And so that's the, prob that's the value of the idea of a good solid hold. They're not going to give it up just because they're tired, because they mentally just can't do it. Now, it's also a sign that she's tired. So what I want to do is, because I do think it's a good chance to get a little bit of a um, physical uh, work in with her. So I'm gonna, I've got, I'm gonna put my earbuds in. We're gonna shoot, we're gonna shoot a dummy launcher for her. This is not too hot that it's dangerous um, by any means. Um, but it's good conditioning and she needs that. So we're gonna finish out today, um, which was a really nice mix. It was a nice mix of handling and she did real well. That 90 degree stuff could be improved on. Um, part of it, part of it we did improve on as it went on. The one that came over here and she came up this way and then we sent her again, she learned from that one. This last one here and the one before it, by putting the dummy back a little bit, she learned from it because she self-corrected. She came short, didn't find anything, faded back, found it. Next time she understood, don't waste my time, don't go forward. So the last two, she took real nice crisp 90s. So I'm gonna put these buds in. I'm gonna let her s settle a bit. But the other thing is about this <clears throat> will be steadiness. Uh, gunfire really excites her. She's a she's a she's a little hunting dog. So let's do this. 
I do need her to be steady. Um, I haven't had major issues with her steadiness. I don't think we're gonna have issues with her steadiness. She's a pretty steady dog to start out with. You? Sit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire this to that corner and then we're gonna change the angle and then we're gonna work on cutting across the cover again. Watch. Sit. Watch. Watch. Nice arc to that one, landed it about right where I wanted to. Um, I didn't want it a mile in, I didn't want it short, wanted it right on the edge and that's where it is. Didn't move, she didn't move a bit. Watch, good, good. Good, I might just send her right from here fresh in the mind, she's steady as a rock, we're gonna reward her for it. Cody. No line, go back, go back, go back, go back. She hunts short. She's not a real strong marker and we're gonna work on marking with her. But we're gonna let her work it out. We don't do a lot of marking. We'll do some more, but she's done very little marking. She should catch wind right in here. Good, good, good. Good dog. What I really liked was the way she worked through it. She wanted to hunt short, she kept she kept pushing herself back. Very good. I also like the, the no need to set liner on that. Uh, a dummy like that, that she watches fly and, and land like that, to just be able to send her on her name and have her take the line is valuable. Good. Sometimes I, I overline. Um, more out of timing, more out of I get in there and I can really see them. Um, sometimes I gotta remind myself to back off on that a bit. Good. I liked how she pushed through. That was real nice. Good. I think that's it. I think that we're gonna be done with that. I was real happy with what we did this morning. We applied. Um, we need to polish, we need to continue to polish. And we're gonna polish that a lot of this 90 degree stuff will polish up with the next drill that we do. Um, but before I feel comfortable doing it, I like working in this area um, and adding some complexion complexity to the to the drills um, as far as building in and incorporating some of our other um, real kind of real world stuff. And then we'll go back to formal learning stuff setting her up um, to make choices and, and complicate things. That It's a real way to, it's an easy way to kind of clean up and refine the 90 degrees too. But we're gonna do that in the other area that's got a nice mowed, mowed short, short grass, but it's a little bit, it gives me a little more area. This is, this is nice and big this way, but it's short, short that way. Uh, I need a little room all directions. So very good, we'll build on that. Good girl.